Now, it's officially the start of school summer holidays and my next guest has been helping parents with their unruly children for the last 16 years. And tonight, Super Nanny is back. Well, Joe Frost, AKA the Super Nanny, joins us now <laughs> live from Los Angeles. It's so good to see you, Joe. I can only imagine oh. the number of parents that wished that you were on some sort of a direct line with them over the past couple of months. Um, oh, it's, been, <laughs> it's been such challenging times for so many of us. But like we say, yeah. it's been 16 years, Joe, since we first yeah. saw Super Nanny. Um, how has your job changed in that time? And how, how different has uh, the, the parenting challenges, I guess, over those years? That's sort of there's we're talking now tablets and phones and everything else technology yeah. plays a big part too it's it's changed the face of parenting um it has um i think it's important to listen to parents and to understand the journey they're on and the evolution of parenting and we are in the technology era and i think it's important to understand that you know social media comes with its own set of problems you know um parents juggling work and and now really looking at the circumstances, uh, certainly for over the last four months, and uh, really what that's meant for a lot of families has meant that it's been a busy time for me working behind the scenes, connecting um, with a lot of families and helping them through at this challenging time with no expiration date. Mm. You know, I think psychologically um, that's been very difficult for families because um, there's no tough it until this date you know, and then we'll all be good. You know, it's the marathon, it's not the sprint. Yeah. And that's been very challenging, very challenging. Of course it has. Well, look, tell us about some of the family's struggles in, in your new series, Super Nanny mm. USA. It starts tonight, 9 p.m. on E4. Um, yeah, tell yeah. us a little bit about some of the families. You are going to see, you know, th this particular season was important for me, it's season eight of Super Nanny, because I wanted the fourth walls down. So it's really about looking at families that are struggling within their own relationship, raising their children. It's looking at teenagers and tweenagers okay. and the struggles that they have. This particular family are adamant that Riley has ADHD. Right. And so, right. you know, it was important to educate this family uh, because there's a lot of undiagnosed, but a lot of overdiagnosis as well of, of this medical condition. So it's important to be able to have a relationship where you take families out of survival mode and you bring them to a place of being able to coach them through certainly um, an evolution of being able to understand how they can connect better, not with just themselves as parents, but also with their children. Um, and, you know, there's 18 episodes in this season to be able to get stuck in and really get your notebook out and pen and take a look. And... You know, it, it was a journey with respects to traveling around America and helping these families because it wasn't always easy. I mean, you know, I can think of this, of several times I was kicked out. I was actually kicked out of the house. They didn't want me there. They got very hostile and aggressive and, and asked me to leave, you know, and the truth can be very um, painful for a lot of families. Yet the old cliche is it, it does set you free if you can let go and surrender to the process. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be looking at, you know, teenagers and the relationship between twins and um, the relationship with older parents. We're going to be looking at families who have um, frontline firefighters. Uh, we are looking at families who have taken the leap in moving to a different place um, and what that means for them. So, you know, really what we're dealing with now, you know, we're dealing with challenges that already exist that have been highlighted through the pandemic and how we're parenting, and then the new challenges that come from circumstances that a lot of families will be able to relate to. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, that, that literally there'll be bits that you can pick from every single episode that will affect your own home life, I guess, because it'll resonate with you no matter how old your children are. It's it a little bit of advice. Think, yeah, and I think, what's, I think really what's become very profound is, is that you don't even have to have children to watch the Super Nanny show. Yeah. You know, well, it's about... I watched about, it when I didn't, Joe, to be honest. About, I used to watch you all the time and I, I didn't. And I, I'd just be shocked and amazed at you. And the outcomes were just always extraordinary to me. But so now that I have one, I pay particular attention. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, you know, so many parents now, and it's been a real struggle for lots of families trying to do this whole homeschooling thing over the past couple of months. Yeah. Now that's ended and school holidays have begun. So it's another couple of months of trying to keep them entertained, keeping them happy and everything else. 
What can yeah. you say to parents at this point who really are probably fairly exhausted? The, the, honest, the honest truth is, is that I think it's parents that are putting that expectation on themselves. I think it's important to be able to have the discipline to still keep up with some schoolwork throughout the school holidays. I don't think it's a, a get out of school card completely because of the circumstances. But I do think it's important to be able to find a happy medium. It is important to be able to pace. Um, like I've already said, you know, do something new, discover something new. You make sure that you can connect with your kids where you're having fun and you're, you're all coming to a place of being able to uplift one another and being able to do that. You know, that there's no set premise of where your child needs to be on an educational level by the time they reach 18. You know, and I think what's most important is to understand our mental health and wellness as a family, yeah. you know, so make sure you are getting out into that fresh air, into nature, that you are keeping active. You know, I think it's important to have a routine, but to be flexible with it so that you're able to keep the cornerstones of that routine that support a family and scientifically make us more happier as a family anyway. Absolutely. So, you know, you've got to cut some slack and yeah. don't be so tough on yourself as parents. But at the same time, you know, I do want parents to be a little bit mindful of the circumstances that they're in, you know, and if we can accept where we're at and adapt to that, then I think we wake up making choices that are more positive for our family. Yeah. That's not to minimize how difficult it is, but it's no. about being realistic in the situation that you're in right now. Yeah. And that's all I would ask of families to be able to do because it's challenging every day. Of course it is. Well, Joe, we can't thank you enough for talking to us. Super Nanny tonight, 9 p.m. I will be watching as yeah. always. Thank you so much, Joe. Great to thank talk to you. you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.